Latter-day Saints heard words of encouragement and warning as their church leaders concluded the final session, sessions of General Conference today. Carol Makita has a story from the Conference Center. Millions of Latter-day Saints throughout the world heard messages of faith this weekend and also words of caution. In a growing worldwide church, members heard that doors are opening for the faith, that one good person can change many lives. God does not rule in nations, but he is mindful of them. He can and does place people in positions of influence who want what is best for the people and who trust in the Lord. President Boyd K. Packer spoke strongly about what he called the confusion and dangers affecting families. Some suppose that they were preset and cannot overcome what they feel are inborn tendencies toward the impure and the unnatural. Not so. Why would our Heavenly Father do that to anyone? There are those today who not only tolerate but advocate voting to change laws that would legalize immorality, as if a vote would somehow alter the designs of God's laws and nature. Other leaders warned of addiction to pornography and even legal drugs. Unfortunately, too many in our communities today, including some of our own members, become addicted to and then they abuse prescription medications. President Monson reminded church members that they live in a troubled world with many challenges that they can overcome with faith. To express gratitude is gracious and honorable. To enact gratitude is generous and noble. But to live with gratitude ever in our hearts is to touch heaven. As he left, many stayed to greet him. For one child, it was a one-on-one -on -one moment. It was pretty cool. I've never really seen him in person before. It was great. It's totally different than watching it on TV. The spirit is so strong. As soon as you get into the building, you can just feel the spirit. When you're really here, you feel more, more of it. You feel more happy. With yesterday's announcement of five new temples, President Monson also appealed to the young men, young women, and retired couples, saying the faith needs more missionaries. Carol Makita, KSL 5 News, Salt Lake City.